downhill bikes that are like motorcycles, enduro bikes that are like mini downhill bikes, trail bikes that ride like enduro bikes, cross country bikes with transformative geometry that are just like trail bikes. Man, is everybody just trying to punch up a weight class or something? You know, it certainly feels that way. But then you have brands like Cannondale that are coming out with things like the Scalpel, a through and through cross country bike. Yeah, the Scalpel's been around for a long time. It's been a race bike, it's pretty much its whole life. There's cross country racing in these very fibers that make this really cool frame. So what Cannondale did is they gave it the SE designation, just like they did with their Habit. In this case, they bumped up the fork travel and added this cool XT build kit and an integrated tool kit as well. Yeah, you know, you do that and it really takes a cross country bike and it makes it into a trail ready bike. Wait a minute. Did Cannondale just do it too? I mean, got this dropper post. Is this a cross country bike? Is it a trail bike? Are they trying to move up? Do you think they took it too far? Maybe they didn't take it far enough. I don't know, we're gonna need to dig into this. Why don't you grab the pork rinds and hang on because we're gonna talk about the Scalpel SE. We're gonna see what the heck kind of bike this thing really is. Taking in the Cannondale Scalpel took a minute. First, we noticed the dropper post, the integrated tool kit, the Shimano XT drivetrain. Then we saw foam grips, slick max speed Maxxis tires, and RockShox's new SID suspension. For some reason, the juxtaposition of parts had us wondering what this bike really was. A Zoom chat with the team from Cannondale filled us in on all the tidy details. The Scalpel SE is a longer 120 mm travel version of the Scalpel line. The bump and fork travel results in slacker angles. Cannondale has dubbed this a lightweight trail bike. Cannondale instituted a host of updates for the new Scalpel. We immediately noticed the main pivot was now tucked inside the front triangle, just above the bottom bracket, and a small fender keeps the grime out. The Scalpel keeps its flex stays in the name of weight and simplicity. The shock linkage has been reconfigured and now pivots off the seat tube. Compared to the prior Scalpel SE, the 2021 model has a one and a half degree slacker head angle, a lower standover, and increased reach. Slacker, lower, longer. Got it. Getting the Scalpel on the trail. We don't get a ton of cross country bikes here at Vital. Timing for the arrival of the Scalpel was spot on though. Many of the cross country trails were running well and we've always fancied a speedy steed to attack the network of trails on Peavine Mountain in our Reno area. The network of winding single track can have riders string together all sorts of loops, including the coveted lunch lap. Our traditional loose over hard pack conditions were in full effect and the scalpel was eager to scoot up the hill. Getting accustomed to the scalpel's geometry took some fidgeting and personal adjusting. What has come to feel like a slack seat angle at 74 degrees had us sliding the seat forward mid-ride and struggling to keep the front end in check on super steep sections of climbing. We would come to learn that keeping in the taller gears, standing and attacking the punching climb was the way to go. The Cannondale was pleasantly deceptive in its efficiency. For some reason, after all of our time aboard longer-legged 30-plus pound brawlers, we thought cross-country bikes were supposed to do most of the work for you. You know, like an e-bike, but lighter. Either way, we felt like we were working just as hard aboard the Scalpel. We decided to do some uh, GPS research on our favorite loops ridden on other bikes, and we had to take a look in the mirror. The Scalpel was moving up the hill just fine, much faster than we realized actually. The light, efficient bike had us flying. While the effort felt familiar, the speeds were much faster. That's pretty darn cool to us. Heading to the southern end of town put us in more technical climbing terrain, and the scalpel blew us away. Give this bike a mess of rocks and ledges to navigate, and it seems to sail over anything, straight to the top. Just keep the power on. We aren't going to say that climbing is fun aboard the scalpel, but techie bits did inspire a chuckle or two. Low angle descents have the scalpel flying like a low altitude projectile. This bike is fast. No doubt the cross country racing heritage that lives in the DNA of the Cannondale are best expressed in acceleration and momentum. On the flip side, anything beyond winding cross country loops will have the scalpel SE grasping for control. 
Even some of our favorite trails became a handful aboard the Scalpel SE. Maybe we are getting soft, but after several rides, we felt compelled to swap out Cannondale's 60mm stem and the front Maxxis Ardent Race tire for something a bit more trail worthy. We installed a 50mm stem, 770mm wide bar, and replaced the front tire with a 2.3 inch Maxxis DHR2 to help offer a bit more real world feel to the scalpel. After all, there were no Tuesday night races going down, and the scalpel had more to offer on the downhills. Plus, we wanted to have some fun with this bike. After threading in our trusted flat pedals, we dubbed our scalpel the DK edition. That's Drift King. <laughs> Operation DK Drift King. This seems to work. Our minor mod took the scalpel from something that was novel to something that was practical. Instead of living on the razor's edge in corners, we now felt more confident to come in hot and hang on. This kind of hooligan joy made it feel more like the golden days of our youth, getting loose on the same bikes we used for the local race series. While we typically avoid making modifications to test bikes, this was minor and brought to light more of the intention of the Scalpel SE. Cannondale dubs the SE as a race bike with real world appeal. We like that mission, but feel like the classic brand could have pushed the bike a little further. After the tire and stem, a taller dropper would be the next on the hit list. A 5 foot 9 inch tester with a 30 inch inseam on a medium bike had the 125 dropper sticking out of the frame enough to warrant the option of a 150 dropper. For sustained descents, we would pull out the fabric multi-tool from the frame, drop the post and party onto the bottom. We know this is more preference than objectivity, but if there's room there, we say go for it. In summation, the scalpel gets up the hills in short order, so long as that hill isn't too steep. Techie climbs and rolling terrain are the spike's specialty. The downhills are best kept on the mellower side, but otherwise, tame terrain becomes more interesting due to the Scalpel SE's propensity for speed. Time for the parts check. Our Scalpel SE came with a full Shimano XT build, sans the cranks and chainring. Our 12-speed drivetrain was stellar for the duration of the test. Shimano's ability to shift up, or is it down? Either way, multiple gears, played to the scalpel's strength of accelerating to warp speed. Our XT two-piston brakes worked perfectly. The Maxxis Max Speed Ardent Race and Recon Race certainly roll fast, but they aren't much for grip. With our DHR2 in place, the confidence soared, but the rear Recon Race was easily overpowered up and down the hill in the dry desert conditions. RockShox's new SID suspension stayed stiff and efficient, keeping the scalpel tracking well through chatter. Admittedly, we were sometimes at the fringe of the scalpel's comfort level, but suspension never felt harsh or like we were clapping it out. When it comes to droppers, we're spoiled. 1UP, PNW, and others make posts that are fast and have light action. The Cannondale down low post was a bit slow and took noticeable effort to actuate. It did, however, go up and down every time we hit the level. So, what's the bottom line? In the pantheon of bike genres, the Cannondale Scalpel SE is trying to be yet another niche. It is billed as a race bike that can get you deep in the mountains. We wish Cannondale would have pushed further. In its stock configuration, we would still peg it as a cross-country race bike. For those wanting to get after it with the local race scene, here's your steed. With a couple of easy changes, very little of that race pedigree is lost, but some real-world capability is expanded. Have a rival on the local race circuit? Want to crush your buds on the climbs? The Scalpel SE can be a great tool to slice them up. For the full review, check out vitalmtb.com to get the specs and some sweet picks. Leave your comments below, but more importantly, have fun on your bike. We'll see you on the trails.